I love making the kinds of videos that I made yesterday, going after men, because it just proves how fragile some of you are. It, it, it's, it's funny, and it's pathetic. It's funthetic. <laughs> um, you don't want to take a good hard look in the mirror. You don't want to examine what it is about you that's making you so unattractive. Or you don't want to come to any sort of realization that maybe you're not unattractive. Times are changing. Times are changing. And it's not just the men who get to see these videos of women being harassed with the advent of social media and camera phones and all this other newfangled technology that's come out over the past three decades. But it's also those other women. They see you acting like pigs. They see you harassing them. And that just, for whatever reason, makes them not want to approach men so much anymore. Makes them think twice before they compliment another guy. You don't think about these things because you just don't think. Because you let, I've said this before and I'll say it again a million times if I have to, you let everybody else do your thinking for you. And those people are telling you that it's their fault. That if you approach them, they should talk to you. They should engage you in conversation. They should do this and that. And the comment sections, dear fucking God. The comment sections. The beauty of social media. Getting to see all of this. The, the ugliness and hostility and stupidity of humanity. Just like all of the worst of the worst. All in one nice, neat little box. The comments saying stuff like, well, maybe you should be nicer to this guy. You didn't have to be so mean to him. He is the one who will not take the hint and go away. Not a single person on this planet is entitled to talk to you. Not a woman, not a man, not a non-binary person, not a dog, not a cat, not a seagull, nothing. Nobody. Nothing. Not even your fucking imaginary friend. Nobody has to talk to you. And you agree with this, I know you do, because you've probably been bothered by somebody in your life before. I'm speaking specifically to the men here. You have probably been bothered by someone in your life before that you did not want talking to you. You were in the middle of something. You're at the beach, you're at the gym, you're at the laundromat, you're at the grocery store, you're, you're wherever the fuck you are. Somebody comes up and just, blah, 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 oh, please, oh, please, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, but I, I, I really need to go. Okay. <laughs> and you fake a smile, you fake a laugh, maybe even a belly laugh. You, you, you try to make this person feel like they're not an overly annoying, aggravating person. For lack of a better term, person. You've been there before. So if it's not okay for you, why is it okay for this woman who's just sitting on the beach and trying to enjoy herself? Sitting in a restaurant trying to enjoy yourself. Sitting on an airplane. Sitting on a train. Talking on the phone. Just standing somewhere. They just have to exist. And there will be some man. Hey, I really like this about you and that about you. And I'm going to keep talking and keep talking. And oh, go away. Did you say stay? Ah, uh huh. Okay. No self-awareness. And it's so... It's entertaining. But at the same time, it's it's pathetic because it only makes your plight worse. All these men who complain about it's so hard to find a date. Don't go after the women. Go after these men. If you're not one of them, start going after them. Start holding your, your, your fellow man accountable for making it harder on you. Because if, you so, if you're as nice, as nice of a guy as you claim that you are, if you are as, as as sterling of a human being as you always claim you are, and you know, I just don't know why I can't get laid, then start going after the real source of the problem. Your fellow men. But no, you won't do that. You won't do that because some dorkus on the internet told you that it's all the woman's fault. That they sat out there with a bikini and they got you hot and it's their fault. <laughs> you know... And these are the same people who would say some of the worst, most disgusting things about sexual assault. You know, you, you got to know it. You got to know it. The same people post in the comment, why weren't you nicer to the guy? Well, you could have at least given him a little of your time. They're the same people who would make an excuse for a woman who had just been sexually assaulted. 
You know, they're the same people who are digging for each and every when when some woman comes out and says, especially famous, that that they were sexually assaulted by somebody. Oh, they're they're trying to find that smoking gun. Oh, they told a lie once. They're completely uh, they can't be believed. They can't be trusted. Worst of humanity. It is entertaining, but it's also frightening because is it getting better? Can we quantify this? Can can we quantify stupid men becoming less stupid? Are are they becoming less stupid? Are they seeing reflections of themselves in these videos and thinking, "Wow. This is why I'm so undesirable. This is why a woman won't talk to me for longer than 5 seconds. That's just because my foot is on her foot." It's just Somebody is asking you not to talk to them. Don't talk to them. You know? Do I really have to say more?